Okay, welcome, Tim family. It's so great to have you on the call tonight. We're excited that each and every one of you have joined us for this wonderful evening call. We have some great uh, things going on tonight. We have a great speaker, so we are so excited to go ahead and get our call started and uh, just sit back, relax, and we're going to take it away here. Uh, we're going to, uh, Chrissy Fair, will you introduce us to Tim? And who are Mel and Amy Gill, and why was Tim created? Hey, Pat, can you hear me? We can hear you great, Chrissy. Go ahead, dear. Oh, great. Thank you. It is an honor to introduce um, Tim, as, as well as the, the uh, founders of the company. Um, Tim, Tim is Team Effort Network. We are, uh, Mel and Amy Gill are the founders. They are servant-driven leaders. They're visionaries. Our, our success is truly their success. They've been in the industry for over 20 years. And what, uh, when I first started looking at the company, um, I looked at Team Effort International, seeing that they're very successful. Successful, just celebrated 11 year anniversary, death free company. And I wanted to know more. I wanted to know why 10. What launched 10? Is it multimillionaires that were just looking and they knew that nutrition was the number one um, networking industry? So, with that, in looking at this, Amy shared her story and it was so heartwarming because it wasn't at all what we thought. It was the fact that. Uh, they were having issues with one of their children. They repeatedly had taken the child to the physician, as sometimes we, we get called in that vicious cycle of doing, not knowing what was going on. And they ended up finding out that their child had a D deficiency. So uh, upon that, they wanted to know what would be the best delivery method uh, in getting that D in, sorry, in getting that D into their system. So after that, they uh, they did find that it was an oral spray, and they wanted to know, okay, if my child is having this issue, how many other children are affected by this? Not just children, but also how many other uh, adults are affected by this? So that was the launch of Ten Pat Team Effort Network, and we are truly a team, and we're so grateful for Mel and Amy, and we look very forward to what's coming up next. Back to you. Thank you so much, Chrissy, and I love the name of our company, don't you? Because it really is exactly what they say it is. It's a team effort, and I just love that. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're cross-line, down-line, side-line, whatever line. I love it because people are reaching out across this wonderful nation just helping each other, and uh, I just love that. It doesn't matter whose team you're on. They're just reaching out, so it really is, uh, it is a team effort network. Work, and I just really, truly love that. Um, we have a wonderful guest. All callers are unmuted. We have a wonderful guest. All callers are muted. Okay. We have a wonderful guest speaker tonight in the house. Um, Alan is an educator a motivator. He's quite the motivator, by the way. He's an entrepreneur. He is an accomplished professional motiv motivational speaker. He has been inducted into two different sports hall of fame. He serves as a leadership officer for the largest school system in the state of Texas, and he also serves as an elder as uh, his church is married to his college sweetheart. Now, how sweet is that? They share three beautiful and wonderful children together. Alan Hooker, are you out there? And uh, I love your topic for the evening, 10 Laws for Success. Alan, if you're out there, take it away, please. Uh -oh. Alan, can you hear us? Yeah, okay. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Go ahead, my friend. Oh, okay, fantastic. <clears throat> well, hello, everybody, and I hope that you're having a fantastic day. I'm not going to be um, occupying your time very long, but I do want to share with you 10 laws of success, and sometimes I like to call them secrets because they're not necessarily taught in school and they're not taught in our daily networking with people. But these were 10 laws and secrets that Dr. Napoleon Hill came up with, he actually came up with several 16 volumes of Laws of Success, and I finally condensed them down for us tonight to about 10 so that we can grasp them, chew them, and be able to run with it. And Dr. Napoleon Hill hung out with Andrew Carnegie, which at the time was um, the richest individual in America who found the U.S. Steel. And he had Napoleon Hill to travel around to the most successful people 
that were working during that day, and these are some of the secrets that they came out with. So get your pen and your pad and be ready because I want you to write these things down so that you can exercise them. Law number one is to have a dream and a definite of purpose. To have a dream and definite of purpose. Most people in life, they set their goals based on the income that they make. If they're going to buy a car, they, they say, this is the kind of car I want because this is the kind of income that my car can provide for me. And those are individuals who limit their dream. So it's important for you to find the biggest dream that you can find and have definite or purpose of why you want to get that dream. Law number two is to have a burning desire to achieve that dream. See, one thing that a vision is, is a vision that takes a massive and immediate action to achieve a dream. That means you have that desire. If all you're doing is talking about something that you want, then it can instantly become a nightmare. So have that desire, the burning desire. That means that you'll put the energy in. You'll stay up late at night. You'll make extra phone calls. As a matter of fact, you won't mind if somebody hangs up on you. You'll have the mindset of understanding that if I need to make 10 calls to get one sale, then every time I get a no, I'm moving closer towards my yes. So have a burning desire is number two. Law number three is you have to feel good when you think about your dream. Your emotions are very important, especially in this business. And oftentimes people say, well, it's just, it's not personal, it's business. Well, when it is personal, that means it's just emotional. So make your business and your dreams and what you're thinking about personal and feel good about it. I looked on the website the other day and I was uh, congratulating the individuals I saw a shiny red Mercedes Benz with a blue ribbon on it, and they were part of the TN organization. I felt good about that because I imagine myself being in that same type of picture. So feel good about your thing and feel good about what you're going to go after. See, law number four, the words you speak will determine your success. Watch the words that you speak. I like to call this law say power. The very things that you say will leave your present situation and run to your future and wait for your arrival. Well, if I want something waiting for me, I want it to be good. So don't get hung by the tongue. Make sure you say positive things. Listen to some some of these negative sentences. Someone asks, well, how are you doing today? You would say, oh, I'm unlucky. Oh, I'm having a bad day. Or, you know what, I'm really struggling today. This is one of those days. And then those may have been some of the sentences that you've used before. But after today, these would be the sentences that you use. Someone asks what you're doing. You tell them, I'm doing terrific. As a matter of fact, it's a super good day. My life is super terrific. I'm getting better as this clock is ticking. These are positive words that you can put in your mouth that will help you to be successful. Law number five, think about what you want and think about your dreams because Earl Nightingale said that what you think about the most of the time is normally what you become. So it's what you are thinking about. Try your best to avoid thinking, thinking. As a matter of fact, Zig Ziglar said that thinking, thinking hardens the attitude. So we want to think about positive stuff. If you see the glass, it's always that full. In fact, when I go to a signal light, I never call it a stoplight because it's such a negative thing. And as a matter of fact, a signal light has three lights on there when you think about it. Two of them, in my opinion, means go. Green is go. Yellow means speed up. Only red means stop. So it can't be a stoplight. To me, it's a go light. It's all about your thinking. Law number six, you must read books. As a matter of fact, I call it getting strung out on crack. I tell individuals that my life only changed when I indulged in, in crack. The difference between me graduating from high school and college and from college and getting a master's degree is my ability to get high on crack. And crack is an acronym that stands for constant reading always creates knowledge. Constant reading always creates knowledge. C-R-A-C-K. Because leaders read. The more information that you can read about and, and people that have been successful and going through the things that you've gone through will help you to be good. I just want to give you just a few books that you can put in your arsenal if you have not already read them. But here are some books to help you to enhance your success. One, ask and it is given. Two, see you at the top. Like this particular. Three, the magic to believe. Four, the magic of thinking big. 
And of course, the last one I would recommend would be Think and Grow Rich by Dr. Napoleon Hill, but most of these points are, are coming from it's a fantastic read. And you should get your hands on some of these good books. Law number seven, listen to positive audio every day. The positive inspirational educational audio training helps to keep you inspired. We have tons of negative images that clog our mind throughout the day. You turn on the news and you see that we still can't find flight 370. But we're concerned for those families who had loved ones that were on those planes, and they inundate you with all this information, all this negativity. But where is the positive information? I believe that your car should be an educational institution on wheels. If you listen to 20 minutes of audio tape every day for one complete year, you've heard enough information to acquire your master's degree. So get that information. Good quality tape. Law number eight, attend seminars on a regular basis. And I'm talking about successful seminars. I'm talking about where people just get pumped up. Go to a meeting. It doesn't matter if it's just two or three people. If there's a 10 meeting going on, there's a seminar that's happening for you maybe to learn something good. And if you can't learn something that you didn't already know, you can at least pick up from the positive energy of the people that's in the room. Those things help you to navigate and move through and stay positive. Law number nine. Every now and then it's important to get recognized. Because when you get recognized for any kind of achievement, it gives you an endorsement. You all think about it. When you saw your coloring and the finger painting that you gave your parents when you were a little child, it probably looked horrible to you now. But your parents took that finger painting, took that coloring page, put it on the refrigerator, and you were so happy that your endorsement got to, got to flow that you wanted to create more. And when your relatives came by, you wanted to give them one because we like to be recognized, and that's helpful. Now, here's another thing that recognized people do. People that are recognized don't have a problem recognizing others. They're glad to do it. At the end of every year, the College Football Association will have a, an award banquet called the Heisman Trophy. And they will invite back every person that's ever won the Heisman that is still alive to celebrate this next person that will join the club. And it's, and, and it's a special club. Why do they do that? Because they've already been recognized, and they look forward to recognizing somebody else. Could you imagine what would happen to your team that you're building in 10 if you took time to recognize them for the little things that they do? send them a special email saying that they signed up a diamond. And then when that diamond signs up a diamond, send them a special email. And all of a sudden, everybody's in dolphins are popping and running and we've been recognized. And now we want to have others be recognized. You'll get closer to your Mercedes Benz. That's what will happen to you. Law number 10 is develop relationships with like-minded people. Have you ever wondered why people join a country club that's very expensive, that may be outside of their range, it is because they believe that there's somebody in there that thinks like I think, that's motivated like I'm motivated, that has stretched themselves beyond their current circumstances, and I want to get to know them. Positive people who have goals and dreams and are willing to help support you and are pulling for you, those are the kind of people you want to be around. Avoid those people who will steal your dream. Join a group and organization and people like 10. They'll pull you up and they'll help you to become successful. That's why I love to get on the call. Sometimes I just get on the call even when I don't have anything to say because I want to hear those other people talking because I'm pulling for them because I know that they're pulling for me. And the last thing I want to share with you is, as, 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 as part of those 10 laws of success is this, that your wish is your command. And I guarantee you, if you exercise these 10 laws of success, we'll have a great opportunity in celebrating you and a pretty red Mercedes did. Go, Ken. Pat, back to you. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Thank you, Alan Hooker, my friend. Wow, wow, wow. I couldn't stop writing. I was writing so far, so I wanted to make sure I had every word down that you said. Wow, that was powerful, Alan. Thank you so very much. And we are so excited that you are a part of our Ken family. So thank you for blessing us tonight with the great 10 laws for success. Uh, next up tonight, wow, 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 this girl, she is something else. Uh, Melissa, uh, 
Melissa Honeybee, I heard you did a survey on Facebook with some of the vitamin um, B12 deficient clients that you have. I believe your question to them was, when did you first notice B12 symptoms start and what part of the body was affected? So I hear you got some awesome responses and a lot of responses. How about you sharing uh, this with us, Melissa? Great job, and I'm excited to hear what all went on on this survey. Hey, Pat. You know what? I was so blown away by all the responses that I received. I had 58 people participate, and they were all deficient. And it's wow. Crazy. Yeah, it's crazy because they're from all walks of, of the you know, in the U.S. And so, yeah, as we know, B12 is a deficiency where it, it doesn't come from a plant. It comes from um, an animal resource. So keep that in mind. You know, if you're not getting your your animal resource in, you could be B12 deficient. And um, I've got Jane that said that she, all she could do is she kept feeling like extremely tired and she said it was a different kind of tired, and she couldn't explain it. So she went to her doctor, and nothing was um, taken care of until, you know, a couple of years later. I spoke to Elizabeth. Elizabeth kept saying, I was tired. My vision started going, my memory, and then my speech was a second close. So let's see, we've got tired, extremely tired, vision, memory, speech. This one was kind of crazy. Jackie Dunn said, she kept getting migraines. And, you know, normally what we do when we get migraines, we take migraine medication. But guess what? It was a D12 deficiency. Wow. Um, Sharon said she kept getting dizzy, and then she started getting fatigued, confusion, and then her memory went away. Now, the thing, the thing about this, these are young people, maybe in their late 20s or 30s. I have a young girl that um, she was 17. And now it's 10 years later, she started having severe stomach issues and, like, pains. They kept telling her, there's nothing we can do. Let's just give you pain medications. Ten years later, after misdiagnosed about five times, they finally did a vitamin D and a vitamin B um, lab on her to come to find out she was just deficient. And what they did... They gave her supplements. They hooked her up on 50,000 plus. Um, I used two to three times a week. And, you know, it took months before her levels got, um, you know, balanced out. But the thing is, if you think about it, we've got fatigue. We've got vision problems. Um, I'm gonna, I know there was this one in here, and it was just kind of crazy. This lady that she said her feet kept going numb. So, neuropathy. And so they just wow. treated her for neuropathy. And, and it wasn't getting any better because, you know, masking with pharmaceuticals instead of feeding the body what it needs. And therefore, it took her a while to get that taken care of because you have to bring your levels back up. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to try to find out. I had a really great one that her name was Adelissa. Sharma, she said her fingers, every morning when she would wake up, would be tingling, and then she had an um, eye floater, in her, in her, and it was a B12 deficiency. Wow, um, that caused eye floaters. That's amazing. Eye floaters. Eye wow. Floaters. This one was um, great. Christy's win. She said, my fingers and hands and feet were really tired. She said her memory started getting worse and worse. And then next thing that started going, she got carpal tunnel syndrome. And guess what? It went away once she got B12 in her. Oh, my goodness. That is really <laughs> amazing. Yeah, so, you know, the thing about it is we all have different elements and we put it off or we, you know, take the ibuprofen or we're taking the stomach medication and, you know, taking that our stomach pains and the burnings and the floatings will do eye drops. But you know what? We really need to really check our deficiencies. And that's, wow. that's what's really, you know, important due to the fact that 
we tried to mask what's really going on, and the pharmaceuticals aren't the answers. The answers are let's get some good nutrition into our system, and we can get things balanced out, and all this you know nonsense can go away. So didn't you say, Lewis, that, um, you know, when you go to a doctor, you just think that they uh, give you all the tests and everything that you need, check this and check that. But uh, what about then, you know, is it normal or, I mean, is it unusual for them? Uh, They don't check, isn't it correct, that they don't check our B deficiency or our D deficiency? No, actually, uh, when you run a panel of labs, when you go to see a physician that's covered for your annual physical, um, unless you're in the military or VA, that, it's not a covered, um, I guess I would say, a procedure. A procedure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so when you go in and do routine labs, you're going to get your normal um, diabetes, you know, like your sugar count and your blood count and stuff like that, cholesterol. Other than that, unless you have a symptom, and you're going to rule out all these other symptoms, then you can run this. But then again, it's still not a non, it's a non-covered um, procedure for you to be able to have, you know. So that's why the doctors try this and this and this and this before they go back to old faithful. Unfortunately, I think we should probably start with deficiencies and then start ruling out other things. And I think it's starting to become more known because everyone's popping up with all these deficiencies. Yeah, I think, you know, that's so true. Like last year, um, uh, you know, a lot of my friends don't even know this, but I was in five different, four different emergency rooms and some of the best hospitals in this area, of course, uh, being one of them being Wake Forest and uh, was over there just doubled up in pain one night. Ed and I were out to dinner. Um, he rushed me to the emergency room. My blood pressure was like 205. They had no clue what was going on, but I was in excruciating pain. So we, we know that drives the blood pressure up. They did right. every kind of scan you can imagine on me. I was in the uh, emergency room for probably about seven or eight hours came back with absolutely nothing. And I had this happen uh, several, uh, two or three times after that, the same thing. And guess what? Now that I'm thinking that I'm hearing all of this and I'm learning more and more, I was vitamin B deficient. I'm sure they were for now because now yeah. I don't have those pains anymore. A lot of my lower back, the lower abdomen pain has gone. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty amazing to me that I had no clue. Did anyone ever test me for that? No. Did they test no. me for D? No. no. So, you know, wow. Yeah. And spent many, many thousands, by the way, that the insurance, I'm still paying on those, that, that the insurance right. would. So, well, Melissa, um, you know, and also um, just to go back to the vitamin uh, B issue, you know, I did uh, when um, Alan was telling me about his mother and his brother having the uh, cellular um, accident. I probably don't say that wrong, but uh, right, rather. But anyways, when he was telling me that, you know, I, I jumped right on the computer and started doing research, and that is cause for B. Uh, 12 deficiency. Right. So I, you know, I did all the research, put it in a Word document, sent it out to Alan because I want them very aware. I also printed off some things for his brother and sent those over to his brother that we've now got him on the B and the D. So, you know, it just makes you feel so good when you know that you are helping other people. And I'm quite like you. I'm a researcher. When I hear of something, I start researching it. Uh, today I started doing some more research on vitamin D and cancer as well because I have a wonderful yes. friend that has his wife has cancer. So anyway, long story short, but awesome, uh, Melissa. And one more quick thing: Why did you decide to do um, this survey, which I just think is awesome? Uh, what what prompted you to do that survey on the vitamin B? Well, being in internal medicine for 25 years, I've always taken care of people and clients with pharmaceuticals. So therefore, once I got involved with Ken, I decided to think out of the box and try to go back to the original, you know, the way that we were supposed to be brought up, and, you know, by feeding ourselves nutrition. 
And so getting involved with Ken is what made me think to ask, you know, um, these people that were out there that are, you know, deficient in what, you know, the reason what hurt them in the initial um, fact due to the fact that we've got callers that may not even know that they're deficient. And so right. with me getting a survey out there and getting the knowledge, maybe something that we've talked about, you know, the pain in the stomach, the pain, the aches and pains could be fibromyalgia. It could, it, they could be diagnosed with much just sclerosis and it's a vitamin D and a vitamin B deficiency instead. So there's several elements out there and I just wanted just to touch base on the common person that has had this issue and maybe that their story or their, their um, effect that has happened to them might hit someone you know, else and make them think about things that, are, that they're going through that they might be able to correct and get on the track to a healthy path. That they would never attribute. Most people, as you know, uh, family, uh, most people would never attribute a lot of their ailments, disorders, whatever, uh, to vitamin B and vitamin D deficiency. Wow. I mean, I'm still amazed, and the more I hear from all of our lovely guests that have been on the call over time and, um, you know, telling their testimonies and, and the, the different things that's happened to them since they just started doing B and D. I mean, it's amazing. And I'm one of them. I surprise myself every day, you know, um, you know, just feeling better. And like I say, no issues like that I had before. So it's pretty doggone amazing to me. And I'm excited to be able to, uh, once again, to touch lives as each and every one of you, our Ken family, loves doing, touching these lives, sharing these wonderful, marvelous products so that we can help, uh, you know, we can help, to me, the world uh, with these products. So it's just, it's just truly amazing to me. And I know you can hear the excitement in all of us because uh, Tin Family, we love what we're doing and we love being able to help. Um, next up tonight, we're going to have uh, Christy Fair come back and uh, she's going to do a um, uh, comp plan for us. Uh, Christy, are you out there? Share with us uh, what the Tin can do as far as financially for the individuals that's out there. If they just uh, get in, stay the course, stay focused, and share these great products. So take it away, uh, Christy. Hey, Pat. Thank you, honey. Um, I honestly can say what Tin could do for you is an opportunity of a lifetime. I have been in um, network marketing for some time now and have had great success, however, nothing like Tin. It's, it's truly amazing. And Barry Ackrell was sharing his story with us and his vision and, and not too long ago, and he definitely feels the same way as well as all of our, our top leaders. So with that Tin, uh, we do have the, the best foundation you get to walk upon, very minimal cost to open your own business. As an entrepreneur, we know that opening a business is very, very costly. However, it's not um, so much here, and you already have the tools implemented. So when you walk in on the diamond distributorship, as you're an entrepreneur, you're a business person, this is your business, you walk in, and then you bring two partners along with you. You simply place one person on the right and one person on the left, and you're qualified, Pat, for, to get paid 10 different ways. That's right. Not only do we have the most innovative product line, we have all of these success stories coming up because of the delivery method. We also get paid 10 different ways. And as we were sharing earlier with Mel and Amy Gill being the servant-driven leaders they are, that doesn't even include our bonuses. So that makes me very excited. We're headed to California next month. Love, love, love for everyone to join us May the 17th. Please make sure that you log in your back office, get your tickets, get on the airline, and get there. Feel the excitement, as Hal was saying earlier. That's what it's about. You get there. You see the vision. The vision is cast. Grab it. And I will say that have a dream so large, you spend your entire life chasing for it. And that's the opportunity that we have with Tian here, Pat. Um, just a few announcements, just talking about promotions and what Amy and Mel have going on. We are now shipping out of our new, 100% out of our new um, distribution center, which we're very excited about. And we're also uh, excited about getting uh, brochures. We have new brochures. They are, a couple are going to come in your, your packages, complimentary. And 
Speaking of complimentary, Mel and Amy are giving us our new product, Cell Energy. That's right. You did not hear anything incorrectly. They're giving it to us. So we, when you receive your package this month, if you have a 10-pack, you will get two Cell Energies. And if you have a four-pack, you're going to receive one. So, again, if you um, have a 10-pack, you'll receive two, and a, and a four-pack, you're going to receive one. And when you come on as a new diamond distributor, you're also going to get those 10, those, I'm sorry, those two um, cell energies as well. So, and also Team Effort um, TV is coming up. We're very excited about that. That's going to be a tool that's going to allow you to um, – use as a resource. You can find out the ingredients. You can go on and um, see promotions that are going on. You can see the top leaders and hear from them and, and even have some video clips from them receiving their brand new gorgeous red Mercedes. You know, we can't wait to see so many more recorded. <laughs> well, that, um, the, uh, speaking of leaders, Ms. Anita Poole, will Pat, correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong. I'm actually on the road. Anita is doing a training, so you can log into Facebook on Tenacious Generation, and, and you can receive that link. She's on the administrative side of your business, so that's uh, 1230 Eastern Standard Time. So every day, all the leaders every, and everything that everyone's got going on. So, Pat, back to you, honey. Oh, thanks a lot. And I'll tell you what, uh, once again, we just brag, brag, brag on Barry Ackrell. Uh, he uh, got his Mercedes within 90 days, and I hear he's already uh, passed that level. He got the, the one bonus, and now he's already moved up to a diamond qualifier. So you go, Barry Ackrell. We are so proud of you. But I'll tell you what, this man, nothing stops him. At 72 years old, which is amazing, he doesn't look to the act, he did, uh, that's for sure. But he's still out there. Um, I talked with him earlier today, and uh, he was headed to uh, Mississippi. Uh, this man travels, so he is burning up the roads with his uh, Mercedes. <laughs> and so we're just so excited. Uh, but once again, Barry, Barry's got that vision. Um, he's passionate. He's got that burning desire. So he is burning up the road in that car. And he has his dream. He knows what he wants to do. And uh, he knows the right words to speak, as Alan was saying. And um, I know this man is consistently uh, reading the positive mental attitude books and so on. And listening to the positive ad, um, audios, especially riding around out there in that beautiful car. But, uh, you know, you just have to take, Barry told us when we came into this business, he said, listen, team, he said, if there's one thing that you need to do when you come into 10, he said, give it one year. He said, give it your all. Do whatever it takes whatever you need to do to help the next one uh, become an executive or the next team builder, whatever it takes, but give this business a year. And he said, I'm telling you, all of the, my team, you will never have to, you'll never look back and say, you know, I, you can say you gave it your all and you will be at the top of this company, but give it a year. Uh, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day, as they always say. So give it your all, get out there, work it. And then if it doesn't work uh, out for you within a year, then, you know, you've given it your all. But I tell you what, we're so because we are at the top of this company. I think still few people can even um, realize that we are at the top of this company. We're not at the bottom. We're at the top. So we've got a long ways to go, team, and a lot to build, a lot of people to share with. And if you'll do that, you're going to be uh, very, very successful in this company. Um, Ms. Nina, are you out there? I'd love for you to do some quotes for us this evening. Miss Pat, I am out here. I hear you're out there. You go, girl. <laughs> I have three notes straight from, well, two is straight from the universe. It's okay. called, the um, book that I have been reading was called Leveraging the Universe by Mike Dooley. Uh -huh. And just let me tell you what the universe says. Okay. You know how when Visualize something every day to such a degree that you can literally taste its reality. And you uh -huh. believe the likelihood of its manifestation with all your heart and soul. 
And as often as you think of it, in at least some way, you prepare for its arrival, yet still absolutely nothing. How can you know that something hasn't worked out unless you quit? Yeah. And this is straight from me. A quitter never finish, but a finisher never quit. Ten family, we are finishers, and we will win with ten. Back to you, Miss Pat. Oh, thank you so much. And and uh, did I see, um, or was was I was I looking a little cross-eyed or what? Or did I see something on your Facebook? Did I see a was it a dark blue Bentley? <laughs> yes, you did. Oh, that's visualizing. That is visualizing. I love it. Keep on dreaming it, Miss Nina. It's going to be yours. Just keep looking at that car. Because I tell you what, it, it caught my eye. It was absolutely stunning when I saw that. I just screamed. I said, oh, my gosh. Look at this car that Miss Nina, hey, she didn't stop at the Mercedes. She went all the way and went Bentley. <laughs> Hey, I heard I heard it from the horse's mouth. Miss Cheryl said that um Mel said that his desire is to see a line full of Bentleys parked in front of the ten universities when we have them. Mm -hmm. I took that and ran with it. I went and got mine to put on my vision board that night. Well, I'll tell you what, it works for me. It works for me because that's always been a dream car of mine too. So we are we and I know Miss Cheryl as well. So we're thinking on the same lines, Tin family, and that's what you got to do is uh the ones that you hang with, the ones that you got the visions with, we all got great visions, that's for sure. So that's kind of people just like Alan said, you wanna hang with those kind of people because they're going somewhere. All right. Um, well, uh, we want you to stay tuned for our next call. At Tuesday night, 9 o'clock, for more, you're going to learn more about why you should add 10 sprays to your life and 10 to your opportunity uh, list. You need to be, uh, be on board with 10 uh, so you can, once again, uh, fly. You know, birds of a feather flock together. So we all go fly together. Isn't that right, 10 family? Uh, you want to be sure that you stay connected with this group because uh, Pastor Denise, Pastor Dale, oh, my goodness, they do an awesome call every day, 11 o'clock, Monday through Friday. And if you've not had a chance to get on these calls, please get on them or at least uh, go on Tenacious generation so that you can uh, listen to them. They're all recorded. As our calls are recorded every Tuesday and Thursday, so if you miss one, pick it up on uh, Tenacious Generation. Um, also, you want to be sure, Tin Family, that you plug into everything that you can plug into. It is important to stay connected. Uh, it is important to be on the calls every Tuesday and every Thursday. Invite your guests. Get them here because these calls, they're going to hear something that they like, um, you know, and they're going to be able to relate to. Attend the uh, tasting, the TTPs in your area. We got one every Monday night. Right now, we're holding it at the Me Pablo at three. Uh, 3911 Tinsley Drive, High Point. Uh, be sure to invite, invite, invite. You know, we're here for you, team. We're here working for you. We hold these uh, tasting parties so you'll have a place to bring people so that we can help you sign up here, too, uh, and, and help them sign up there, too. Uh, if you've not had a tasting party, hold your on. You want to invite people and family and friends in to uh, get a test of these um, sprays, that's the way to do it. Uh, you'll never know, and they'll never know unless you share it with them and spray them. And, you know, literally, my family, you can spray uh, your family and friends to health with these products. Why do we know that? The testimonials are coming in daily, and they, they never cease to amaze me. They just get better, better, better. So be sure um, that you also attend the Super 10 Saturdays. We've got one coming up in May. I want you to lock in this date. We want to pack the house. Pastor Denise and Pastor Dale 
are coming all the way from Washington, D.C., just down here uh, to do a Super Saturday for us. That will be May 24th. So we'll be getting out more details on that. And by all means, a lot of us are going out to, we're flying out to San Francisco. We're all excited. We've got our rooms booked. You know, it's never too late to join us at the 10 University because I promise you, you go to one of these, you will never come back the same. You will be so fired up like Miss Nina and Christy and Mary Beth and uh, Melissa and Ed and myself and all the others, our family that joined us out in Las Vegas. We're still fired up. Um, so if, if you don't know that, just ask us and we'll tell you. So stay connected. Remember, Tim Family, when you help enough people get what they want out of life, you will have everything you want out of life. So get out there. Share this business. Help change people's lives. And um, that's what 10, people, 10 family people do. We love helping people. We love changing lives, not only in their health, but in their wealth. One spray at a time. Keep spreading the word, Ken family. We'll see you back here Tuesday night, 9 o'clock, with bells on. Be sure that you get back to the person. If you're a guest on our call tonight, be sure that you get back to the person who contacted you or invited you to the call so you can learn more about what Ken can do for you. Good night, my friends. Good night, my Ken family. And we are excited. Stay excited. We'll see you next Tuesday night, 9 o'clock. Have a wonderful and a safe Easter, and have enjoy your weekend. And remember the reason for the season of Easter. Good night, everyone.